Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Rex Rocket! So, we just defeated a bunch of Terra Oozlings running around upstairs in our ship as they destroyed everything up there, killed a whole bunch of people. What do you have to say? I'm just going to wait here till it's safe to come out. Lovely. Alright, green pickups look like they're health. Yellow ones help us recharge our ability to get an extra lives. What do you have to say? Don't go that way, Rex. The lower decks are crawling with crazed robots and wild Terra Oozlings. Alright, well, we're going that way. Here there, green friend. Be careful, Rexford. We sent a guard down this hall to return and find a way out, and he has... Or rather, we sent a guard down this hall to find a way out, and he's not returned. What? You're going up there, too? Well, I'll tell you what I told him. Tap the Z button to do a quick, small jump. Press and hold the Z button to jump higher. Fire your blaster at the floor repeatedly while holding Z jump to get a boost. Good luck, Captain Rex. Well, I figured that out based on what you were saying before. Can I get up here like this? Yes, we can. That doesn't look good. Those robots look pretty angry. Pretty weird firing pattern they've got, though. Alright. And some pretty deadly spikes looking down there. Alright, we're getting to the real platforming meat and potatoes of this game, aren't we? Alright. Alrighty. Let's blast up some of these bats. I'm not sure what they are, but whatever. We'll kill them. Blow our way through here and grab some more data. The sirens are too strong. Alright. Lower decks. A decent-sized compartment just below the upper decks that Rex normally uses for storage space and theme parties, and now serves as living quarters for regular personnel due to large crew size required for the latest mission to New Detroit. Alright. What does this one say? Council Wisdom. When a distinguished but elderly scientist states that something is possible, they are almost certainly right. When they state that something is impossible, they are probably, probably witnessing the power of love. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but whatever. Let's get out of here. Whoops. Let's go, game. Let's try and actually get up on this platform, please. I guess we'll have to use jump boosting all the way over there. There we go. To turn off that door blocker. I want to get across here, too, but I also don't want a face full of bats. Unfortunately, a face full of bats looks like what we get. Let's get out of here. I can leave those little health chips behind. They don't look too important. Ow. I didn't even see you up on the roof there, you jerk. Oh, that hurt. Alright, timing is important, obviously. Interestingly enough, that's a big heal pack that seems to fully heal us. That's good to know. What else is going on around here? This doesn't look good at all. Hello? Captain! The scientists have been cocooned by a Terra Oozling monstrosity! <laughs> But I never saw Paris! Well, he's dead. Why do we have giant slime monsters like this in our ship? Alright, let's shoot him a lot. Oop. Trying to avoid dying if we can. I guess that's why there was a uh, respawner right there. <laughs> Changing! Oh, he's turning into a zombie. That's pretty horrifying. Alright. Can I save any of these scientists? Or are they auto transform into monsters when you get to certain damage levels on these guys. That's what I'm guessing it is. Alright, let's lay down some more hurt. Ow! You can see the little slime there. We are getting destroyed here by this guy. We need to get to the right distance, evidently, because that means we're a lot safer from whatever they try and throw at us. Or now it seems to be going back and forth is the tactic. Ow! Those really hurt! Man, we're low on health. Don't fail me now, game! We're so close! And we're dead. Well, that might be the story of this game a lot. Let's try and get in there and see if we can maybe not dead this time. We got pretty close. There's a whole lot of button mashing you have to do in this game. Alright, skip through this. Skip, 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 skip. Come on now. Let's do this, worm. I'm really not sure what the best strategy here is, but I'm just going to try spamming as many attacks as I possibly can at him. Ow. Taking so much damage already. So much damage. Ow. Those shots really hurt, too. Oh, hello. Alright, you're dead now. You're dead now. Here come some more sprayed shots. I never saw Paris either. 
All right, well, at least he was listening. Okay, we got him this time. We, we should be fine. I never saw Paris either. Oh, come on, you've already used that line. Try something a bit different, why don't you? There we go, we got the slime boss. Clean up in the lower decks. And we got a gun. We found the quadribolt shotgun. Press C to fire the secondary weapon. Oh, that's kind of cool. Looks like we have ammo for it, though, which looks like it regenerates. We can see we got some blue pellets in the top left corner there. Quadri bolt shotgun. This weapon compresses several gigajoules of energy into energy bolts and shoots them in different directions. It was initially invented by weapons engineers on Talantis to carve ice tunnels on frozen planets before the UP-7A decided to weaponize it. Interesting. Grab some more health so we're not instantly dead here. You look like a Mega Man enemy. Which I think you are almost exactly a copy of. Alright. Let's scoot down this wall. And blow up some robots. Looks like we have to go across the spikes this time. Not super keen on that. Ooh, no! 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 Just trying to get up here, but I can't... Ah, I'm dead. Well, that's annoying. That is insta-kill you. Good to know, though, I guess. Let's go back downstairs and see if we can get into that room without getting murdered by our own incompetence. All I need to do is not mess up simple jumps, and we should be able to get up there no problem, but I can't seem to manage it. There we go. What's in here? This place looks fancy anyway. I don't know if it's actually important to come to, but it looks fancy. Hello. Ow. Can you throw your own limbs at me? Alright, grab ourselves some more data. Terra Oozling Reproduction. Little is known about their mating habits since they're easy to artificially clone in labs. Radical Envirobot Jane Goodbot has studied them on their home planet of ok Anna for years, but has never witnessed their secretive mating ritual. Reproduction has also yet to be observed in labs, despite scientists' best efforts of mixing ethanol with a containment fluid and blasting smooth jazz over the ship's speakers. Okay. Now the weird thing was, I thought they said that these guys were, uh, you know, designed. Not that they, they weren't naturally formed, but they just said about their home planet, so I don't know now. I don't know if there's anything in this top... Ow. I thought I killed you. I don't know if there's anything in this top area, but I was interested to try and get there. But you know what? I'm just going to leave it. Ow. Get away from me. Silly blue monsters. Alrighty. We can get ourselves an extra life in here and hopefully kill the enemies we're falling on. There we go. Kill some more of these little fiends. And come over this way. I don't know if this is a shortcut or what it is, but it definitely is way off track from where we were going before. I have no idea where I'm going. Very much lost in this year maze. All right. Let's drop down a little bit, see what we can find in here. Not seeing a whole lot. There's a CD. Let's grab the record. Drift down slowly. There's a health expansion. I'll take that for sure, but I'm not sure what's going on here. An ammo expansion. That's interesting. Looks, looks like half an ammo for your special weapon. We'll have to try that thing out in a minute, too, but let's drop down here and fire it. Okay, it does damage. It's not amazing, though. It doesn't seem to be that cool, but it, it does stuff, so it's not the end of the world, I guess. It does work. Get out of here, you. Whoop, hello. There is some data. Science News Archives Overpopulation. July 13th, 2820. Galactic population data spanning the last 100 years has enabled a research team from the Council of Science to predict that the number of people in our galaxy shows no signs of stabilizing. The results place more pressure on scientists as they figure out a way to prevent humanity from overpopulating all current habitable planets and space stations. Yeah, it looks like terraforming is what's going on here. Okay, the shots continue through enemies. That makes it a lot cooler. Definitely a lot cooler then. Alright, grab ourselves an extra life and we'll work our way back up this way. Ow. Straight into the bone throne. Anything else up here? There's another way out over here. I have no idea where I've been now. Oh, hello. Was this where I was supposed to go? I have no idea. Hmm. Let's talk to these guys. You're dead. Considering the extensive precautions we took, I'm in disbelief. Lauren should have prevented this catastrophe. Also work. They made this personal when they corrupted our space burger chef. Sure they did. Rex, have you been able to contact Lauren? She isn't responding to us anymore. Something's not right. There I was, a bunch of Terra Oozlings with me in the door. I had to jump over them, so I shot my blaster downwards to give myself a boost. <laughs> Captain Rex Rocket, holy moon cow! I almost blasted Splice Hole through your head. Oh good, these people are stupid. Um, engineer note, passages. 
and there appear to be many secret passages all throughout the SS Montana kept hidden by fake hologram walls. They may have been used by the Anklians to conceal vital equipment or perhaps for hiding in case of innovation. One thing's for sure, they're great for playing space poker without Dr. Bell's knowledge. Alright, so we've got hidden passages in the walls that look like normal walls. That's good to know. We can blow our way through here. I don't know if we need to, but we can do it. Oh, I bet you now we're on the other side of that area we could have gotten to before if we had just dropped. It would have been a lot harder that way because we've had potential death happening. Now we can turn off that barrier. What's this? Ow. Okay, they explode when you kill them. That's good to know. Is this the same area we were in before? Ooh, boy. Looks like it's the other side of it. Let's go back around, because I'm interested in seeing what else we can find in this place. Let's try not to get flattened. There we go. Rebuild the Tron active. Ooh. This looks lovely. Does this insta-kill you? It does! The goggles do nothing. Is the achievement we got for dropping into the acid and instantly dying? Some things need to be experimented with, sadly. Alright, let's make our way across here. Hopefully without dying again. What does this say? Jump on sweeper mods to expose circuits. Okay, don't know what that means, but let's look around a bit more. Now we're at the bottom of this place. Ooh, interesting. You can only hurt those guys from the front. Nothing hidden over there in the walls. Now we're underneath where we have been before. Let's go up on this wall and see if we can find anything hidden in here. Because there was another area over here for sure. Stinking oozling. Oop. Kill some more robots. There's one of those disappearing floors. One of those exploding emergency bots. Fantastic. Let's get out of there. Nope. Go away, bats. Ah. It's tricky to master the changing direction controls, but whatever. I think I should be able to grab this. As long as you can slide on walls, which you can. There we go. No problem getting that extra life then. This looks interesting. Where are we going? No idea. Those guys have big shields on their backs. I wonder if you can destroy them if you get behind them. We'll wait till that panel comes back. Maybe we'll be able to do something about it. I get the feeling they're going to hurt us if we touch them, though. You can destroy them from behind. Ow! But they can also knock you over. And now we're all the way to the bottom. Woohoo! That could have been bad. Alright, let's get across here. Grab the data node. And grab the gun upgrade. Data note says, The Anklian War Part 1. In 2810, the Anklians requested permission to colonize ten planets from three neighboring systems. With four of the requested planets containing Class Zero and two civilizations, the UP-7A denied the petition. Furious, the Anklians declared war against the UP-7A by launching an attack on Earth. The UP-7A was eventually overwhelmed by their advanced technology and desperately sought aid from anyone willing to assist. Alright, that's that cleared out. Let's get back up here and hopefully not die on the way up the rest of the way. I don't know if there's anything else actually worthwhile to get over there, but we're going to go take a look and see. Because you don't know until you look. Plus, these guys aren't that dangerous. There's only one of them. It looks like these all lead to different areas. Oh, maybe not all of them. That one goes up. Let's go over this way. A new hypertube location has been added. Okay. Interesting. And an ammo upgrade. What else can we find in this place? Anything else of interest around here? Ooh, that doesn't look good. Ooh! Corrupted soldiers. Ow. And these guys are throwing the bones at us again. Ooh, we're gonna die here, aren't we? Let's try not to. Spam bullets. Okay, we're good. Can't get through the green door, don't get crushed. Okay. Whew! That could've been bad. It's an interesting first, though. That looks like a thwomp. It is, in fact, exactly a thwomp. <laughs> Drops on you from the ceiling. Alright. What else have we got going on in this place? I don't even think I can go this way. Oh, I see. Interesting. When you come into the area... Or, hang on, is it this sensor's fault? It is! You shoot the sensor and you can get across no problem. Okay. This doesn't look good. Those look like temporary blocks there. That looks like, in fact, exactly what they are. Okay, made it across, though. That's the important thing. This place is a maze. I don't honestly want to go... Um, to the yellow area yet, though. I want to look around first. 
Woo! Hello. Whoa! Holy enemies, Batman. We're gonna die in here. <laughs> wow. Okay. Didn't notice that entire floor was made of those things. Ouch. Let's go this way, then. Not into that. Ow. Good thing you get a lot of lives, though, because otherwise this would be a lot harder. Alright, what's up here? More data nodes? Cool. What does this one say? June 1st, 2020. 2820, rather. The Terra Oozling is the answer we've awaited, announced Dr. Brown today before revealing more details on their latest research. Although their ability to take control of mechanical devices is not being explored, the fact that they can replicate any organic being makes them the key to terraforming planets. They are terraformers. That's what I suspected, given they had Terra Oozlings. Instead of just being called Oozlings or something like that. Alright, what's down here? An exit? Is there anything else on the other side over here that we may have missed? It's entirely possible. Apparently this game is full of secrets, too, and I have no idea what I should be looking for to find them. Any walls, apparently, could be secrets. Don't know how true that is, but let's look around and see what we find. Oh, haven't found any secret walls yet. But I'm told they're out there. Ow, those bones hurt. As do the ooslings when they shoot you. In fact, everything hurts. That's a simple way to put it. Things hurt. Whoop, let's avoid getting killed by these guys. These secret tunnels look as though they might lead us to something useful if we can make our way through them, but I can't seem to get high enough here in these jumps since there's too many enemies blocking me on the sides. Let's come back over to this side. It might be a bit easier to get up over here. If we blast our way up this way... There we go. Now we can get down to here and actually do some damage to these guys, although we're getting murdered again. Oh, and we're dead. Alright, we tried. Okay, where are we now? We're back over here. Let's go back over this direction. I really don't want to have to make these jumps again. But I'm tempted to explore over this way first. Because I... Whoop, forgot about that. Okay, we probably can't go back then if that's as far as it ex extends. We're going to have to go another way. Oops. Kill these guys. Get knocked out the doorway. Let's just run across. We should be fine here. More spikes. This looks like it reconnects to where we've already been. I don't see much else going on here. So there's like a pool of blood on the floor over here. Oh! Okay, we got crushed. Didn't get much of a chance to see that guy. You walk in the door and you immediately die. Alright. Let's go back down and try this again then. There's bound to be something interesting if we explore around this place, but man, if it doesn't try and kill you all the time. Alright, we're just gonna run forwards then instead of slowing down, because apparently that's what we have to do. And you can get crushed by them going back up again. Good to know. Alright. Our experiments are... Highly deadly, but at least we're learning. Let's go back around again. Pew, 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 pew. Let's go, Rex. Oh, let's go, Rexford. Okay. Down here, there's another one of those panels. That could be interesting. I'm not quite sure where we are right now, but... We'll deal, I suppose. Not sure what that does, but we'll find out in a minute, I'm sure. We can blow those things up, that's good to know as well. Oh, we're back over here now. Okay, we turned off that door panel, that's cool. So let's grab this thing. The Anklian Wars, part two. Several mercenary and pirate groups from across the galaxy joined forces with the UP-7A army, most notably ZZX-1. Knowing full well that victory was less likely the longer the war went on, Rex Rocket and his team agreed to strike at the heart of the Anklians. Against all odds, ZZX-1 was able to infiltrate the Emperor's ship and defeat him, forcing the rest to retreat. Rex was allowed to keep the ship, which he renamed the SS Montana. Ah, so this is actually an alien ship that we're using right now. Alrighty. That's a lot of lasers, that is. Ow. Even as I'm blowing it up, it gets a chance to shoot me. Alright. More lasers. Clear them out. Good. Activate another Rebuildatron. What else can we find around this place? Oh, hello, Lauren. Captain Rex, how are you still alive? 
Now that you're okay, please hold still as I scan your body with this thermal laser probe. No, no, it most definitely will not fry you to a crisp. Just hold still, this will only take a moment. Thermal laser probe engage. Oh good. Alright, Lauren, you are a mini. This looks like a bounce pad. Yep. Go, 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 go! Come on, engines. Alright. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Do we make it out, or is it still chasing us? I don't know. Okay, into the tunnels. Now, I don't know if... No, we weren't supposed to go there yet, so we're supposed to go down lower still. Interesting. Let's explore around in here, then. These vents, I'm not really sure what the deal with them is. Because they're all over the place. I'm not sure if we are expected to go in them, or if they're bonus areas, or what the deal is. Obviously, we're expected to go in them, but... Like, they don't seem to have anything fancy in them too much. They did have a couple weapon expansions, though. So that might be what we're expected to try and get from them. Let's take a look around and see what actually we can find in this place. That's an exit. Let's come over this way, then. It's definitely easy to get lost in this place, though. There's another life. We'll probably go grab that in a second. After we kill off all these guys. Alright, grab the extra life and get out of there. An extra life is not worth dying for. Oh, almost got it. Ooh. I am not very good at these uh, super boosted jumps. These guys just don't stop coming either. Alright. It's definitely possible to get up there. I did it earlier. There we go. Now we got it. Lots of boost jumping required. Ow! No, no! Oh! You killed me right before I get to the bonus. Jerk of a game. Alright, let's get back in there and see if we can do it again this time. It's a nasty that you'd get killed by enemies who are hiding right there. Whoop, now we're gonna fall. That's unfortunate. This is not where we want to be at all. And now there's enemies blocking the way back up again. And the spit! Hurts so bad. Any more enemies up there waiting to get the drop on me? No, but there are enemies down here waiting to get the drop on me. They're incessant. The incessant hordes. I can't... Oh, I don't have the finger strength to do this fast enough. And we got one. What does this say? May 21, 2820. The Council of Science has begun releasing information to the public on the new organisms discovered late last year, sending the galactic scientific community into a huge celebration. Given the name Terra Uslings, these unique non-sentient creatures are composed of both organic and nanocanical material. Nanocanical? In other words, they're half organic, half machine, and can physically mimic organic life. Alright, we're dead. Nothing we can do about that, sadly. I want to get back in there one more time, though. We're losing all our lives trying. Ugh. But let's see if we can actually accomplish something this time. Let's run to the end. That seemed to be the safest place to actually attempt anything in here. Now. Try not to get horribly murdered by everything we find along the way. It's a much easier way to get up here. We can drop down in this area. Oh, there's an ammo expansion down there. Alright, well, let's go back and get that before we miss out on it. A little bit annoying to have to go all the way back around, but whatever. This is how these things go, apparently. This is very much a Metroid game. There's a lot of backtracking and such in the looks of it. Can I even get up there? Doesn't look like it. I think we have to go off this wall to get back up here. Alright. All the way around, let's go get ourselves that other upgrade we saw over here. It might have just been a one-up, but I don't think it was. I think it was another ammo expansion. Not that we've been using our special ammo that much anyway. I probably should, because it seems pretty effective at clearing out large lines of enemies. Well, maybe. It seems somewhat effective at clearing out large lines of enemies anyway. But that's still something. Blast our way up there. There were enemies on that ledge that I was trying to kill, but I don't see them now. Get out of here. Let's just try going this way, then. Maybe we can get up higher? Nope, that appears to be the only way. Unless we're supposed to go around the other way and drop down from there, but we can definitely get up here. So I'm tempted to try it, just because it's possible, and the game seems to encourage you to explore. More enemies up there? Not this time. Not this time. Alright, cleared them out. There we go. Got ourselves another ammo expansion. Let's go around this way then and see if we can find anything else hidden away in this terrible place. Nothing else in that wall. Alright. There are oozlings everywhere. Looks like we were supposed to go around the other way, but you know what? We'll go the hard way then.
Shoot the other way, Rex. Shoot in the direction the enemies are fighting. There we go. Okay. Anything over here? Have we been in this room before? We have. Or it's a new connecting room that we've just entered. I'm not sure, actually, now. Boop, 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 boop. Nope. Let's not get shot to death, thank you very much. This all looks pretty much uneventful and empty. Yep. Still haven't found any secret walls. Oh boy, hello. Let's blast our way through all this, hopefully before we get killed. There we go. Lots of enemies in here. We might have been in this room before. Definitely looks nasty, whatever it is. Let's just go this way, try not to die. We're definitely low on health, and we're dead. Alrighty, well, that was a pain in the butt. There's still another area up there we haven't reached either. Let's just go down, see what's down here. Alright, we can easily kill these guys by just approaching them and shooting them in the face. Can you shotgun them? You can shotgun them. Shotgun bolts also reflect, though, interestingly enough. But only sometimes. I don't really understand what's up with these guys. Can you jump on their heads to do something to them? Oh. Interesting. Okay, so jumping on their heads is actually an effective combat move. That's interesting. We have a massive vat with more of these holographic panels. Alrighty. This is interesting. I don't know if I approve that it's taking us towards our objective, though. I don't really want to go in there yet. Don't really want to go in the place that we're supposed to yet. Let's grab ourselves that life, though, and get out of here. This is irritating. The panel's not going to line up very well with the timing of the platform, is it? Nope. Ooh, boy. We made it, though. No! No, 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 Oh, that was close. Enforcer bots. Okay. Tough machines used by law enforcement groups to assist with the prevention and detection of crime. The standard Enforcer Bond is equipped with only a charged shot cannon and strong armored plates, allowing it to use its heavy body as a weapon. Older models are commonly used as space club bouncers. Alright, we should be able to get out of here no problem now. Lovely. Wait till that block comes back, then we'll go down and get the weapon upgrade. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. And there's health and a Robotron. I think this is actually where we're supposed to go. Which means I don't really want to be here at all. But we'll go, I guess. Alright, let's go fight a boss. Ugh, you made it. I mean, you made it. Yay. I know what you're thinking. At any moment, the ship's enforcer bot is going to drop in from the ceiling and try to kill you. Well, you're right. Main target identified. Captain Rex Rocket. Prime directive. Beat target into gooey, ooey, drinkable pulp. Smackdown activate. All right. So this is pretty classic boss fight, then. Let him... Ooh, hello. He bounces you around, though. Oh, don't jump on his head. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna die pretty hard here in the first time we try this fight. Pretty incredibly hard, in fact. The blocks dropping out of the ceiling are extra obnoxious. Lasers come in. That's fine. We can dodge those now that we're actually at distance. Takes a little bit of understanding what his patterns are gonna be, then he's not so bad. And I just landed right in his head to kill myself. Well done. Well done, Rex Rocket. All right, let's get back in there and fight this guy again. We should be able to handle him. Now at least we know what he does. So let's just skip through all this dialogue. Whoop. Blast some holes in him. Seems to me that using the shotgun doesn't actually help at all. Which is kind of disappointing. He's really not that hard, though, once you get the hang of him. There we go. There's another easy maneuver. He's gonna shoot now. There we go. Easy dodges. Out of the way. Shoot some shotguns at him, maybe. Okay, the shotguns do good work. They'll need to recharge now, obviously, but they do seem to hurt him pretty well. Here comes more lasers. That's fine. And he disabled himself again. Out of the way. And shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Nope, missed. Ow. Well, that's the first time he's hit us, I think. In this variation of the boss fight. Dodge. Easy peasy. Of course, he deflects all of our attacks. Jumps. Jumps. Tired out. 
Very nice. Charges us and runs into the wall. Alright. Yeah, oops. Really not that bad. This should be him finished. Whoops, except I run into a block like an idiot. Now we have to do another round of shooting. We had him there, except that I've made a silly mistake. Whee! Alright, one more round. That's it, he's done. Goodbye, Enforcer Bot. Would you leave us? The charge shot. Now we can charge up a shot. That's good. Does it charge up more than this? Doesn't look like it. Alright, what's the other way? Health? Are we supposed to go this way? I guess so. Captain Rex, if you're here, that means the Enforcer Bot has been destroyed. Hold down the X button to charge your blaster. Release to fire a powerful charge shot. You'll have to fire a charge shot towards the ground while you're jumping to get out of here. Oh, apparently not like that, though. Hmm. Um... Do you have to release it as you're jumping? Like, exactly at the same time, or what? Oh, okay, you gotta double jump with it. Fair enough. Get ourselves a data node. Every... Uh, charge and upgrade. Every UP7A standard issue blaster is capable of being modified to charge a single shot and release a much more powerful blast. Release a charge shot at the ground mid-jump to get an extra boost. Okay, so we have to do some extra charge jumping here, I think. So we go jump, jump. Oh, didn't let go of it that time for some reason. Just didn't shoot. That's some interesting shenanigans right there. So we charge up a charge shot. Jump. No, that didn't do it either. Hmm. Apparently I'm not very good at this. <laughs> charge jumping is trickier than it looks, I guess. There we go. Get us an extra life. That's all that's up here, too. Just an extra life. Oh, well. Let's drop on down. Activate that there machine. Ah! We're on the other side of this thing. I don't want to go down lower, though. I want to be able to access the, uh... previous area. Whoop! Whoop! There we go. This works pretty well, I gotta say. Shard shots do damage. There we go. And one more. Boop! Problem solved. Ah, I see. Now we can access it from this side. Hmm, interesting. Don't know if you've been down here, but I think we're gonna end this episode here for now either way. So, thank you everyone very much for watching. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing some Rex Rocket here for you. If you enjoyed today's episode, let me know in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, bye-bye.